Golfing World recently visited Augusta National during Masters Week, and whilst we were there, our reporter Cara Robinson sat down with last year's British amateur champion Garrick Porteous. Winning the prestigious amateur title gets you several starts in major championships, including the Masters, and it's a wonderful learning experience for a young golfer. Garrick's been talking to Cara about making his Masters debut and playing in his last tournament before turning pro. Garrick, thank you very much for joining me. First of all, welcome to Augusta, your first experience here. It must be absolutely amazing. Try and describe what it feels like to be playing in this year's Masters. It's, it's quite surreal. I uh, came here on Saturday, um, had a few days practicing, played a few holes. I uh, managed to get nine holes in yesterday morning before the weather kicked in. Uh, I mean, the place is just unbelievable. It's buzzing now. At the weekend, it was, you know, dead. And they had the chip, uh, drive, chip and putt competition. But um, now I'm just loving the atmosphere and um, all the history that goes behind it. It's great. What is it that makes this place so special? I think, I think it really kicked home last night when I went to the amateur dinner. Um, they, you know, gave references to a lot of Bobby Jones and uh, how he, you know, almost pioneered the amateur game and I think that sort of really struck home you know Augusta you know the members here are really behind the amateurs and, um, and it's just a fantastic experience to come and play I've watched it a few times um, being at college at University at Tennessee and uh, to, I mean to play it well for the first time last month was uh, was a lot of fun <laughs> Now you've managed to get out and actually play this course that you've probably been dying to for a long time, what are the key parts of it that stand out for you? The key part, I mean, everyone says it's the greens. You know, it changes a little bit from practice to tournament days on Thursday. Um, but it's just, you know, off the tee, you know, it's relatively, you've got to be quite long. Into the green, you've just got to be really key on your distance control. You can be left or right, but you can't be short or long. That's the biggest thing that stood out to me as we've been practicing. We saw young Guan Tiang Lang here last year, only 14 years old, yeah. became the youngest ever to make the amateur to make the cut. Uh, what are your realistic expectations, do you think, for this week? I mean, the, we, you know, the goals for the week were coming to be low amateur. That, I mean, that's what every amateur tries to achieve, you know, at the start of the week. And, you know, to make the cut and, you know, just be fantastic, yeah. So you're here because you are the amateur champion. In your wildest dreams growing up as a young kid playing golf, I imagine this is one of the places that you dreamt of being at. How long did you think it would take you to get here and can you believe that you are here now? It's funny that you say that because um, coming here as, uh, through university, playing on Augusta State's tour, we would come on the Monday and I'd been here about three or four times just you know through the day and uh, I'd never quite expected to be playing in it quite so soon. Because I had the Tennessee guys up yesterday, just walking around, and now I remember being outside the ropes, and it's a bit, you know, surreal being inside. It's uh, a little different. How has life been then since winning the amateur last summer? It's been great. I mean, it's like ever says, it opens uh, so many doors. Um, met so many different people. You know, um, and yeah, it's been fantastic um, to be. To be part of it, is, I mean, to win it is something else, but just to be part of it is unbelievable. How difficult was it for you to cross the finish line as the winner in that event? Because it was pretty tough conditions that week, particularly in the final. Yeah, I mean, I found that um, it was more the Friday afternoon. I felt really fatigued there. Um, obviously, I'd been caddying for myself all week. My dad had come down on Saturday, so um, I just needed him to push the bag or carry the bag. Um, so, I mean, the last day was kind of, I mean, you saw the weather, it was just, it was, it was, it was bad, to say the least. Um, and it was more just sort of getting through that. I wasn't really focused on so much the outcome. I mean, afterwards you think, wow, what have I just done? But um, just taking it, I mean, everyone just takes it one shot at a time. So you're going to turn pro literally at the end of the Masters, ready to play your first professional event in Malaysia. When did you make that decision then? Um, it's been, it's been, you know, it's been a tough decision to make. Um, but you know, talking through my management company, I think it was the right decision to make. Um, you know, talking to my parents, you know, I'm more clearer of what I want to do. So it just makes all sense. I mean, I've done everything in the amateur game that you know I could possibly do. So I just feel it's right for me. And you know, a send off at the Masters as the last amateur event is uh, is pretty special. Thank you.